Hello and welcome to another episode of Word Mentality on Grammar and Thongs, where we look at the origin of words or phrases. Today I'm looking at the idea of gaslighting. Now you may know what it means, but you may not know where it came from. Gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation where somebody sows seeds of doubt in another person's mind and makes them start to question themselves and their own sort of perception of reality. It's things like, um, you know, maybe a husband or boyfriend telling a wife or girlfriend, I already told you that I was going to be late tonight when he hadn't really. Or um, perhaps it's um, one partner saying to another, you never help out around here. And then the other partner comes back and says, yes, I do. I, I help out all the time. So just denying reality and making the other person question their perception of reality. We see it in politics as well. Uh, back in the last election, Trump tried to convince the American public that it was actually Hillary Clinton who had started the rumours about <clears throat> where Obama had been born. These rumours that he hadn't been born in the United States at all. When it was Trump that started those rumours. But Trump was trying to gaslight the US public by getting them to believe that it was something else and question their perception of reality. So it's about undermining reality by denying facts, denying somebody's feelings or denying what's happening around them. So where does this come from? Why is it called gaslighting? Well, it comes from a 1938 play by the name of Gaslight that became a very popular film in 1944. Uh, in this film, there's a married couple, Gregory and Paula, and Gregory tries to manipulate Paula to believe that she's going mad, that she's starting to lose her mind. He manipul manipulates her to believe that she's hearing noises that aren't there in the house, that um, she's stealing things, taking paintings off the walls and then not being able to remember it, even though... Um, it's happened and he sets up all sorts of elaborate um, schemes to make her start to believe this. Uh, in a very famous scene, he manipulates her belief in her own perception of reality by manipulating the gas lights. He goes up, back in these days, gas came up into lamps and you turn them on um, to, to provide light to the house, but he would go up into the attic and turn those gas lights on, which would cause the gas lights where Paula was to start to flicker. And then he would say to her, no, there's nothing wrong with the gas lights. They didn't, they didn't flip, flicker or go up and down at all. It's all in your mind. So it made her start to question her perception of reality. And he did this by manipulating the gas lights. And that is why we call it gaslighting. Thank you.